Hey guys, I'm Rex for TPS, and today I'll be doing something a little different. It's not a special review, it's just a double barrel reveal. Okay? That means I'm going to be doing two guns at once. Okay? Now, the reason why I'm doing two guns at once is not because, you know, I'm running out of things to do or I need to do them all at once or whatever. The reason why is because both of these guns are relatively t bad. Alright? I, I can't put it in any other way which doesn't include swearing. It is, they are just terrible guns. Right. Uh, the reason why I'm going to go over them anyway is because this one especially is very popular. I've seen this one loads in both markets and on websites. It's on Just BB Guns. Um, I didn't buy it from there, so I won't be putting that in there. I actually got given this from my friend, so I won't be putting any link for that. Or on the website, it won't be any link. But, um, yeah, it's very popular nevertheless. Um, right, so uh, I'll do this one first because it's probably got the, yeah, it's got the most to do with it. Um, so, let's start off with then the bow. So these are the parts that come with the gun. If you buy it from a friend, he may or may not have this these parts, but this is what you should get by getting the gun. I know definitely at a market from the website, I can't tell you. So you get a barrel extension, it slots on there. Okay. Um, bloody hell, sorry, this barrel thing. He brushed it down so it's very dusty inside here. Um, I ain't worn it in a while, which I, yeah, but uh, anyway. So yeah, the barrel comes with it, doesn't really do anything to anything. Uh, uh, after this, which will be going up also today, I'll be doing a power review at roughly about, how far is it? 13.8 foot. That's roughly about 13.8 foot. But um, yeah, that'll be a power test, that's for a different video. Moving on. So we got the barrel of this, it doesn't really do much as far as I know. It doesn't increase the accuracy in any way, it doesn't increase the power in any way. I think it's just for looks. Um, what I'll do first, I'll put the first mag in, because this comes with two magazines. I'll put the first mag in to show you what it looks like on its original form. And then let's just call it the extended form and what it'll look like with the other parts. So let's put that back in there. I believe the little mag is in here, is that it? That's it. So this is the first mag you get with it. Okay. Slot that in, and that's what the gun looks like as a whole. Alright. Uh, with the mag there, it fits very well for the pinky finger if you've got a relatively large hand. Uh, I'm not saying that mine's huge, but you know, it's relatively large. So that's why I said it. Uh, you may recognise this gun as the G15. Uh, it's not the G15, or if it is, it's a discount version, as I said in another video. Because uh, the G16, this one, is a G15 one-to-one -one replica. Okay? Just smaller with a bigger mag. Now, this one has gone kind of in between... No, sorry, this one has gone in between both of them. Now, this one looks like the G15, except the G15 has a straight mag and not a curved bit, because the gun itself is big enough to hold without the mag extinction for the hand. Uh, and the G16 then has got the block mag, at the, like the block at the bottom. That I'll show you now as I fix up the rest of the gun. The extended barrel, however, is its own design. That doesn't, that isn't taken from one of the G series, one of the G15 or 16. That part, that's not taken from another one. That is, that's its own design. This is the second mag you get with it. As you can see, it's got a block part almost similar to the G16. I think this one's more. Let's just call this one the G15.5. That's what I'll call it actually for now on, because it's almost in between. Very low quality, very inaccurate, very bad for power. You could probably get shot in the face with this and it wouldn't do. You could probably get shot in the eye with this, don't try that. I, honestly, I, won't, I ain't responsible for someone trying it now. Right? I, if you shoot someone in the eye with it just to see, that ain't my responsibility, that's yours. Right, but as I was saying, you could probably shoot someone in the eye with a closed eye and it probably would hurt them a bit but not actually blind them. That's how, un that's how it's... <sighs> the target I got set up, you know what? Alright, you see, notice some holes I'm going to shoot around here. Okay, from close range it does actually seem quite powerful. But trust me, I swear to God it is not. It is so bad for a gun. It's, uh, I think on the Just BB guns it's about 6 or £7. Pound, pounds. Um, but, I mean, the only reason you get one of these is if you're brand new to airsofting or using BB guns. And you just want to learn how to... You know, it's really simple, but some people would, and I would have, but I got introduced into pretty good guns straight away, and I picked it up pretty quickly. But for newbies or young people, I think in the UK, the age is uh, 13 in the presence of an adult to handle one. To purchase one, you have to be 18. But, you know, just getting used to that and that, because it's not overly easy to cock. You know, I mean, it is for like, people roughly about my age, but cocking it is a bit tough, so it'll get people more used to cocking it. Um, but, yeah, that's the G15.5. It is known by a different name, which I don't know, so I won't be calling it that. But that's what it looks like in its other form as well, uh, as I've shown you the other one. Um, honestly, like I said, worth getting if you're going to introduce someone new into BB guns. I'll probably give my daughters these when they get old enough to handle them. 
Um, you know, I'll probably get them on each so they can just get used to using them. Eventually, you know, get used to getting shot because I want them to participate in Gunners and Runners when they're older. And then they probably will get shot. I mean, it's not nice to know, but, you know, I'll make sure they're all safe with their eye protection and whatnot. We don't use it, but I make sure they will. I will make sure they will. Anyway, moving on. Not a very great gun, but there it is if you want it for uh, brand new uh, coming into Airsoft. So, check out that other mag, check that down there. Moving on, it's the Desert Eagle. This one. Now, I got this because I wanted a Desert Eagle, right? First of all, you'll notice it's in black, as you can tell. I bought it in orange, but they delivered me a black one, right? That was very, very bad on their part. I got this from Just BB Guns. I believe the link to it is in the, just in the website uh, when I talk about it. If I've even seen the picture, I may not have, actually. Because I, I, I've, I've, it's broken, right? It's already broke. Um, but I put the mag there. Too many pockets in this thing. Um, but I'll show you now. There's your proof, right? The mag falls out. The part where the mag release is, is snapped, so the mag falls out. That happened within about a week of having this gun. If you're thinking about buying this, buy it for the looks and the looks only. I, sw I swear to you, it is a terrible gun. Not worth buying in the slightest. I think they charge about £12 for it. So I thought, alright, well, you know, it's more than the G1. So I'll get it, see what it's like. It is god-awful, I swear to you. The only decent thing about it is that it's so alike to the actual Desert Eagle, but you notice, you know, it's not, it's relatively big for how bad it is, but it's not that big. I advise you, like, on, um, there's a website I've recently gone on called BB Guns for Less, they do de Desert Eagle Springs, roughly the same size as this, but the same looks as this, but bigger, and, um, I imagine more powerful, because this one is, again, also awful, but, you know, the cock there's an open chamber, you don't get those very often, but, um, I'm doing that on my finger, so, you know, that, that doesn't, see... Right, I'm doing that with my finger, holding that back, I mean. Um, but anyway, basically, yeah, the gun is awful, okay? I wouldn't really recommend this for newcomers to the uh, BB gun, uh, BB gun thing, you know, a picture. Like, I w anyone new to shooting BB guns, I would not recommend using this gun at all. Let's just listen to it, okay? It does sound bad. So what I'll probably do is take this gun apart in one of the re uh, reviews, maybe, I haven't decided yet. And uh, to, sh to show you inside a, a gun, I know I've already done a video on inside spring crystals. I use the Mac for that, but I mean, if you want me to, I, I can. But be careful for using black guns, especially, and this is a BB gun on an airsoft gun, just because it's black, it doesn't make it an airsoft gun. You take this to an air sh airsoft shooting area, and whoever you shoot will just laugh at you, so don't. <laughs> but um, yeah, so honestly, the two guns I've shown you today, I don't highly recommend getting, okay? I mean, as you can see. Uh, uh. The mag fell right out of that, okay? Honestly, I just wouldn't recommend getting either of them unless you're introducing someone new into BB gun shooting. Uh, that's, that's why I'd recommend the orange one. The black Desert Eagle, which is supposed to be orange. It does come, I will add this as well. It does also come with a suppressor, which just literally slides on, slides off. No twisting or nothing. Doesn't do anything to it. You know, it's... I mean, in my opinion, Desert Eagles looks so wrong with a suppressor, it just looks out of place. But, you know, if you want to get one, carry on, If you, but I don't recommend it, it's a waste of money. I, I think they may have gone down in the price, but I haven't seen it recently. They may be sold out or discontinued, but either way, if you see it, even on a uh, market stall, don't get it. I wouldn't pay a pound for that gun, that is just terrible. Actually, maybe a pound would be okay, roughly, but... Or in America, a dollar for that, you know, it's just so bad, I wouldn't recommend pay, paying any more than a pound for it. And the orange one, I suppose a fiver would about to do, just because I think it's a bit more powerful than the black one, and uh, you get the extra mags as well. But the accuracy is still awful. Uh, I'll be doing a video after this now where I'll be doing an accuracy test. Both of these guns will be included in it. I will try and do as many as I can because my internet's going to be going off tonight. That's why I'm going to be uploading more than one video. i got one uploading now. I've just uploaded another one. That's a tutorial on tips and tricks of guns and runners. But, um, yeah, I'll try and get as much as I can up today, okay? So, I've been Rex CPS. Thank you very much for watching this Double Barrel episode. Uh, follow us on Twitter, like us on Facebook. Visit our website to check out all the other stuff. I'll be updating that soon when our internet comes back on. So, it'll be more worth watching. I'll go visiting, sorry. I'll be putting up videos if I can, I don't know if I can yet, because I ain't really uh, familiar with Wix yet, but I'll be trying to do as much as I can, so thank you very much for watching, I'll be Rex for TPS.